You know, one of the greatest realizations I had over my first 20 years was that I needed to grow, that I had this idea about where I wanted to go, and I had this idea about where I really was, and what was the delta? What was the thing that was gonna take me to the next level? And for you, it's, it's very much the same. How are you gonna learn? How are you gonna grow? How are you going to gain the experience necessary to take you to that ultimate final vision of where you wanna go? There is a gap there. Now, how do we close the gap? One of the greatest things we can do is learn how we like to learn. This is one of the great things that you learn in Peter Drucker's Effective Executive book, and that we all like to learn in different ways like hearing or listening. Some of us, we learn by speaking, that we, we speak out, we flesh out the ideas and the concepts that we have hidden in our minds, that we ingest tons and tons of information, but it's only when we synthesize that information and we flesh this out that we're able to get it out. One of the great hacks that I was told about 25 years ago when I was in college by my mentor was this. If you could replace a habit that's not added to your life with a new habit and you could use a trigger in there, it could revolutionize who you are to become and get you there much faster. And so this mentor told this to me, he said, Rick, you got to do this. And this one hack was instead of listening to music or fiction or talk radio in your car, listen to a nonfiction audiobook that will help you grow, become a leader, to become thoughtful, to learn about your faith and your beliefs and learn how to be a better friend and a better coworker. And so I took them up on this. And so back then, 25 years ago, it was not streaming services. There were things called books on tape. And I would have hundreds of these things in these tape cases in my trunk. And I would listen to the greats, people like Og Mandino and Zig Ziglar, the great salesman, Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad was one other great literary classic that I ingested. And I would give these tapes away to my friends and encourage them to listen and return the books to me. This is one of the great ways that I was able to rapidly set myself apart from those around me who were wasting their time listening to music or being on the phone in the car and, and doing all sorts of non-additive types of activities. Now, how did I incorporate this into my life? What I did is I set up a quick rule that if I'm in my car, I don't listen to music, I don't listen to talk radio, I do not listen to fiction. I only listen to growing oriented audiobooks. That's it. That's the simple rule. And I've generally abided by that over the last 25 years. Now I will occasionally listen to some music in the morning. I do get to listen to music on Friday afternoons, my drive home from work to get ready for the weekend. And I've got a great playlist for that, by the way. And I encourage you to do that as well. But we have to learn to appreciate music, but to also to put it in its proper context that whatever is taking you and holding you back, this resistance between the present you and the future you has to be overcome. And one of the greatest ways that we overcome that is through setting up these habits. And, and the greatest way to build a habit is to build a series of triggers that if you're in a certain location and it's a certain time, then I do this. If it's first thing in the morning, and I've got my first cup of coffee, then I read. If it's 9.30 at night, and my kids are at home, and I'm at home, then I pray with them. If it's Friday at lunchtime, then I take my wife out for a lunch date. You see, if we can trigger these activities within our lives, we can build habits. And if we can build habits, we can build lives that are worthy of being able to share and to grow and to become the person that you were intended to be. So I encourage you to do this. Find great audiobooks, listen to them, replace certain non-additive activities in your life with things that are additive, that are crudive to you becoming the person who you were meant to be. And this is a great way to do it. I encourage you to watch my video that I'll link to above on how to choose books based off of when they were written, how to choose great books. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the topic so far today. If you're on Twitter, I'd love to hear from you. Follow me, Rick Walker Tex. Again, it's Rick Walker TX at Twitter. Love to hear from you over there.